What's up everybody? Look what came. I feel the first time like Christmas. My dear patrons, the Tiron by MR Bose. And you can tell there's a bow in it. Look. Choking. Finally it arrived. Took a while. Of course customs. I tell you in a second about customs. First let's unbox it. If you don't like unboxing, simply skip a little. But I always like to see what I get and how I get it. And you should look forward to. So. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Look at this, huh? Well made, well made. So what I get. Oh. oh. <laughs> Is an arrow made by Zack. Holy crap, that's a nice arrow. See, this is a tapered one, huh? Cool. This is mine. And this is mine. This is, first of all, a nice box. And second of all, thumb ring stuff. What? Not topic of today. Thank you. Topic of today is this little guy. Ah, this is a nice sleeve, huh? That Yiron. So you get here a chablo, a foam cut out where the bow fits in. That's nice. So I will keep it directly like this because unfortunately this bow will go away. Go away. So. Mm -hmm. Push. The arrow away. So let's see what we get. That Yiron. I got the short version of the Tiron because this was the one sack had in stock. <gasps> I was hoping for to get these. I forgot the name now, but I check in a second. Nox on, on the CS. <laughs> Holy crap. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh leather wrap handle. Ooh, la. So first of all, sleeve, very nice. And then second of all, Oh, oh, that looks pretty. I like these knocks there. I will check them. I will check now. Because I need to write things down. See? So, let's go through the details directly. So, ladies and gentlemen, patrons, this is the Tiron made by MR Bose. And MR stands for Mishkorov. Kanin or Rof Shanin. He's from Belgrade and he builds both since 20 years. <gasps> There's even a carbon layer in. Ho ho. It's a pretty bow. It's inspired, this bow is inspired by frescoes you can find in Serbian monasteries. Ash in the core has a stable core, a crossed wave cross laminate, fiberglass from Germany. So we don't want to say the name, but you know, it's a power glass. It has Mikarta Nox, reinforced at least. <laughs> that looks so fancy. Ash wood in riser and tips. Has a B50 Dacron string and is a protected film out of, I can't read it anymore what I wrote, some kind of oil and a PU polish. So, this one is long, 50 inches and has a max draw length of 32 inches to the back. Minimum arrow weight is seven gram per pound. You can get this bow and now sit down first of all. 25 pounds it starts and it goes up to 100 pound at 28 inches. Yes, you can get this bow in 100 pounds. And the price is $450 including shipping. It's quite a number. It's, I mean, this is in the region of Marina and, and Spearman and, you know, like uh, your, the, the Raptor from, from Simon or Paragon. What I had to pay today is another 100 for customs, but this is what you have to deal with. There's another version that 60 inches would have, be, would have then a max draw of 35 inches, rest the same. You can have them in black or clear, the riser in walnut, ash, plum, pear or cherry, 
and the fresco tips or simple tips and you can have paintings on it and you have two years warranty oh, madonna that was quite a mouthful done so we have a threaded a knocking point out of thread like we know from mariner b50 yeah it's a little waxy still on it so pretty bow we have Fifty and a half inches from knock to knock. So the bow length they tell you is from knock to knock. So it's fifty inches. And we have a zero six four. Zero six four, which is good. So the la. We have two different colors, the red and the black. So I guess the red one is then four. Down. Longer one, down, I guess. These fresco tips, huh? <laughs> so knock goes in easy. So what do we have? It looks a little like Tatar. Has the series like Tatar. Like we know them from other bow builders. Has a deflex here in the handle so quite flexed handle we will see but we have here a stabilization so we see if we have a movement in the handle or not but on the other side when he builds his bow up to 100 pounds he Mishko knows what he's doing let's string the bow yep goes easy check that the limb is on uh, the, the string is on the limb Whoa, yeah so One, two, three, four. Barely. Handle. Square-ish. And just small enough for my big hands. So if you have small hands, it's still doable. So it works. Good control. Looks really nice. I love these fresco tips. So let's see, 32 inches. Let's see if it's straight. Oh, sturdy. Medium sturdy to good sturdy. So even for a beginner, if you have the money for it, no problem. So I'm now at 500, more than $550 for this bow. <sighs> Draw experience. What's the poundage? 45 at 28. I think it's like with the spearman, you should leave it a night strong. Right now, the bow. Oh. From here, you feel it already going up, going up, going up, going up. And there, 28, 30. Oh, you need to force it to 32. So we get there. I don't want to overdo it right now. Looks good. So. Uh, seven gram per pound with 45 pounds at 28. I need to see which arrows I will use and I will shoot this pretty bow. Let's shoot the bow. When you shoot 28 inches only, so Mediterranean or stuff like this, your minimum arrow weight could be 315 grain. I have here 330. Let's shoot Mediterranean. First arrow, 28 inches. Oh. A little lightweight seven grain so then when you go for let me see this is this 370 that would be when you shoot the bow has 45 at 28 and 53 at 32 so when you shoot 32 inches with seven grain, you're at 370. This is roughly 370. So this is minimum weight for this bow. 32. Oh, phew, fast. This one is 
3440, so that would be now for 28 inches, would be 10 grain, 28 inches. You still feel it a little, but maybe it gets better like with the spearman I said. And this one is 540, which would be roughly 10 grain at 32. Whoa! And then it makes fun. So again, that would be seven grain for 28 inches. Feels good. That would be seven grain at 32. Nice. That would be 10 grain at 28. And that would be 10 grain at 32. Didn't shoot a lot, but, but, ding, see that there, directly, directly a nice group. Fun shooter, not sure with seven grain, but draw experience is... There you start feeling it, but it's a 45 pounds, so it's nice, 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 28, it's 45 pounds. The draw curve goes quite steep, and you see it four inches, and you have almost 10 pounds more, so you have roughly two and a half pounds per inch more draw length. So it goes a little up, and at 32, it's really <coughs> reaching the limit. So afterwards, you don't want to draw this bow anymore. I would like to shoot this bow 30 inches, 31 inches, and it feels a little more comfortable. Could you? You know, if you want to shoot this horseback style. Yes, you could. But if you want to, another question. Could you do this one? The handle is a little big for that, so overall the handle and then you have vibrations. I don't I don't like to hold arrows in my bow hand. Could you of course you could do this? Fun shooter, you have a little vibration. With seven grain you feel the vibration. Ten grain you don't feel it. It's only at the end it goes a little up. Pretty bow. First, uh, seven grain, 28 inches. Uh, 129, oops. 10 grain, 28 inches. 41. Yeah. Seven grain, 32 inches. And 10 grain, 32 inches, 167. Again, but I shoot not thumb release just because. So seven grain, 28 inches, 174. Sounds more like 10 grain, 28 inches, 159. Yeah, that feels like seven grain, 32 inches. 185 and seven, uh, 10 grain, 32, 175. So 180, 190 foot per second, possible. With the seven grain right now, maybe it gets better. They feel a little too light for me. So you then start feeling a little vibration so maybe you want to go with a little higher arrow weight but then you're still in the 175 180 foot per second range which is still impressive for a bow like this feels good easy to handle only at the end maybe he's still a little stiff from the long journey from first from Serbia to Canada from Canada to Malta we see, I will leave it maybe strung over the night and then I see what the bow will do tomorrow. Handle, everything is nice. You have the 
uh, arrow shelf here with a leather too. Would be, of course, you see already scratches now, but overall feels very good. Let me shoot some other arrows here. All the other arrows, I don't care about the arrow weight now. They are all heavier than they uh, have to be, so that's why. Oh, but, wow, look at this. Oh, that was a shitty wood arrow. It shoots really nice. Once you get used to it. Oh, this is a Manchu arrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is how you break arrows. Penetration power, awesome. Accuracy, really good. So you get easy use to this bow. Fun to shoot. Welcome back and good morning to yet another day at Mortar Archery. So as promised yesterday, I left the Tiron, the Knight's trunk to see what it will do today. One other thing, usually, I don't know if there is a sleeve, but you get this sleeve from Zack and it's made by Mike's Arts. I will put the link in the description if you want one of these beautiful sleeves for your bow. My only recommendation, when you build beautiful sleeves, make a small shoulder strap on it so I can shoulder my bow. Would make life easier. Other than that, nice material, really nice made. So. If you want, check it out. I put the link in the description. But now, the Tiron again. So, first of all, sum it up again. When you hold it, you feel the squarish handle. So it's it's really square. But lays good in the hand. But it feels even my full hand. So arrows on the hand, no. So then, tiller is still fine. Let's see what the draw will do. Yeah. It feels now. And the bow wants to bend a little easier. So draw curve is now here you feel it. Yesterday it was here already. So now you feel it and now it goes up, 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 up. But I don't think 32 is something you want to shoot all the time. My shoulder is almost getting out of the socket. So, but we shoot this bow now one more time. Now let's shoot. We have, first of all, very lightweight arrows, so they are surely almost less than seven grain, only to see. Uh, it draws now a little better, yes, so you need to leave it strong for a night, then you feel a slight improvement. It's okay. Uh, midweight, heavy, uh, midweight wood arrow. Nice. The carbons I showed yesterday, they are then seven grain. It's nice, you have a little vibration, but nothing overly to worry about. Some wood arrows, I don't know the weight. Another wood arrow. These big feathers. Sometimes even scratch my finger. So, and a two-fledged bamboo arrow, which is most probably the heaviest of them all. I think the knocking point for my taste could be a t tiny bit higher. Because here I have already, it's almost right angle. So this is right angle and this is only, could be a tiny bit more. string it's what to say it's a really beautiful bow I like it I only for me the draw experience is not where it could be it's it's exhausting to shoot this bow for me and I shoot 50 pound bow so it's not a problem but this one back here you really uh, the last two inches the draw curve goes up like this. So for this, it really would be good to have the draw curve pro that you see the draw curve coming up. It shoots nice, it's very accurate. You need to like the squarish handle, then it's fine. So don't expect to hold arrows here anymore. It's too much then in your hand. 
but for every other shooting style arrows out of a quiver or something it's fine vibration is okay hand shock is fine when you shoot seven grain arrows you almost feel it when you go a little higher with the weight of the arrow totally no problem and i would go with this bow 30 inches oh, or 31 maximum but 32 is the bow doesn't want to bend there at least this one don't know if all the bows from from mikosh are like this uh, mishko are like this but this one is here it's Oh, you really need to force the bow. So this is what I personally, it's only my personal opinion. I'm not a fan of this draw experience. We had other bows, uh, especially when you consider the price range. This bow is now for me 500, or for the patrons, $550. And for this, it should do a little better. No, no offense, I like to support guys from Serbia they do a really good job they use German glass they have a carbon layer in it everything fine but shooting experience is okay it's accurate but the draw experience for me is not there where it could should be so this is the only thing I have <laughs> and then when you draw back there from there onwards you feel the handle bending and you know I don't like when the handle is bending that's why I think overall this bow is simply too stiff maybe so when you go here 30 inches then you feel the handle coming and this is a feeling I don't like because this causes unusually a little vibration in the handle so this is it but overall I think it's a beautiful bow with a nice fresco knock the leather wrap, everything is nice made. It's only for my taste and my only personal taste, not yet there where it should be considering the price point. That's me. Thank you very much for watching. I catch you in the next one.